battery technology has been around a long time, and it's a reaction of two chemicals in, a, in an electrolyte, and, and it makes electricity. That being the basics of it, what is actually new in battery technology these days? Well, Concord just announced an expansion of their line of batteries that are available with our heater control units. For as long as aviation has been around, pilots have struggled to keep their batteries warm where it's cold on this planet. They will bring the batteries into the hangar, even to their hotel room at night to keep those batteries warm because they have to be at least at room temperature to get the maximum amount of power out of them. Now with the ad advent of heater blankets, pilots would wrap those around the batteries and what you can get is a warm cell and you can get a cold cell, a cell that doesn't get warmed by the heater blanket for whatever reason. That can damage the batteries long term. Concord's heater control units are actually built into the battery box and they surround all four sides and the bottom. So you get a very even heating of all of the cells in the battery. Now in addition to that, those heater control units come in DC power, AC power, or you can get the units where they will work with both. So you can use your aircraft's power system or you can plug it into the wall. So what about installing the battery, getting it all connected up, making sure it works? Well, for years, Concord has promoted VDC Electronics Battery Minder, which is a maintainer that is designed to maintain the health of the battery. It's specifically designed for aircraft batteries. But a piece of pushback that we've gotten over the years has nothing to do with the minder itself, is the location and convenience of the battery to do that. Hey, my battery's in the tail of my aircraft, or it's in an inconvenient spot. And as human beings, if something is not convenient, we tend not to do it. And in this case, all you're doing is shortening the life of your battery. So there are airframe interface kits with quick connect harnesses that are available now. They have FAA approved materials in them. In most cases, they are a minor alteration and they are available for most every aircraft out there today. So it makes it much easier to hook up those maintainers now to those batteries that are hard to get to. Speaking of maintaining the batteries, one of the most important things is to be able to test it and make sure that you have a good charge and you're ready to go. I understand there was a technical uh, service bulletin that came out recently from Concord explaining how pilots could take care of that. Yes, we recently announced an expansion of our capacity test intervals and it's based on the life of your previous Concord battery. So for example, if your battery has passed all of its capacity tests through the fourth year and the sixth month, and then your next capacity test is at the fifth year and it fails that test. Your new Concorde battery that goes into your aircraft, its first capacity test can be the last pass of the previous battery, which in this example would be four years and six months. So what that does is it reduces downtime, it reduces maintenance costs, uh, keeps you flying. Aero TV is brought to you by ForeFlight Mobile gives you better situational awareness, more productivity, and simplified decision making in one elegant app. Start your 30-day trial today and discover the joy of flying with ForeFlight. The IMC Club is a nonprofit organization with chapters all over the U.S. where instrument-rated pilots can meet to sharpen their skills and share their stories. Not the kind of stories told in casual conversation, but the ones you can only share with other pilots. Topics range from emergency scenarios to equipment and flight planning to FAA policies and much more. If it's important to becoming a better pilot, we've got it covered. Visit imcclubs.org and find out how to get involved today.